All righty. Uh, thank you for coming here. Um, we were asked to do a presentation on Enter, uh, the new innovation website that they're working on, the beta, beta testing of it. Um, so we're just going to go through some things first and before we get to the website a little bit more. Um, so first thing is I want to talk about is what is innovation really? You know, it's an introduction of something new, all right? And um, it's a new idea or a uh, method or device. Now, innovation involves taking the work of an individual and, or, or a team of inventors and then um, take it to a broader audience, to the public. Uh, that's what it really is. Um, a lot of people, they, um, they mistake innovation by um, invention. Uh, it's not really the same thing. Um, although they are very, very closely connected, they're not the same thing, all right? Uh, innovation, um, it's an extension of, of invention. Now, for an invention to become like, um, uh, for an invention to become inno in innovation, uh, you have to take it to, to bring it to the public. Uh, that, in that invention, you have to take it to the public, and then um, it has to help them somehow in their lives. And um, like uh, some things that you, you, you can think of, for example, is like the computer and the laptop. All right, the invention was the computer. Now something innovative was the laptop. You know, they, they took the same invention and they thought of new ideas how it can help uh, people and they created the laptop, which is uh, portable. You can take it everywhere you want. And that's what it really is. It's not, the, 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 it's a process to take, that, to take it to the public and help them. That's what innovation really is. Um, so why is innovation so important, you ask, you know? Um, today, the future of many businesses uh, depends upon the ability to uh, be innovative. Um, so today, you really need to be innovative to land a job, um, to move forward in life. And um, the competition is fierce. You know, the knowledge is everywhere. Everybody has uh, access to knowledge now um, through via internet. And um, today's company, companies, they cannot just uh, keep up with their own practices, but they have to look at competition and exceed their own, their own, uh, their own uh, process, pro I mean, uh, projects and projects. So. We, we looked at some companies and uh, we s and see why are they so innovative. And really, if you, if you think of innovation and uh, companies, you will, you will, right away you will think of Google and um, 3M, Yahoo. Now, I have all of those in the report here, which you can take a look at later, which talks a little bit more in detail. But um, right now, uh, I'm going to talk about a little more, more about Google because of the time. Now, why are they so innovative? Um, they have some innovative, like they, they, I did this research and I found an article that they were talking about it. And uh, they have a strategy, innovation strategy within Google. Um, innovation is not an instant, like, not instant per perfection. What they're talking here is that um, launch new ideas frequently. Uh, do not put them in aside and try to perfect them. Put them out there. Put many ideas, many, many products, many um, programs, everything they have. They put them out there and let the public decide which one is good and which one is not. And then you can improve with, within them. And then uh, we have share everything you can. Uh, they have this program within Google that they have for workers, different teams. that They work in different projects. And they, what they do is um, they allow team members, like for example, if they have an idea, and they allow it to go in this program and type the idea up and see if anybody's working on something like that. And they can, get, they, can send them, um, they can send some feedback to those people that are working, saying like, you know, I thought of this. Maybe you guys should be working on this, you know, and uh, here's something I can help you with. And this allows them to communi communicate very well within the whole corporation. And um, so this helps them a lot to be innovative, uh, to think outside the box, to have a lot of ideas coming in from everywhere. Um, another thing they have is, um, if you're brilliant, we're hiring. That means that they, they were talking about uh, they hire generalists and not specialists. They, they found out that uh, people with big ideas and with, um, they know a lot of things, not just one specific thing, is helping the company because they bring new ideas in and then you have different people doing the same thing. So you have, a, um, pretty much you have uh, many, many things to choose from as to what you want to do. And then they have this allow em employees to pursue their dreams. What that is, is they have this model. Um, it's 7 20 10 model, which means 70% of the, their work time, they Google, they, they spend on like the search engine and the ads. And 20% uh, of their uh, time, the, I'm talking about the workers here, uh, they spend on desktop and finance. And then 10% of the time, they have this program that's called high risk and high reward projects. Pretty much they let the, the Employees do whatever they want. They can go out, out, out there and uh, pretty much work whatever they wish. 
And if there's something, if some, something good, they will reward them for that. And uh, Google uh, Earth, if you guys know that, it's, uh, that, that's where it actually came from. It's one of these projects that they just, people just started working on them. Uh, another one, it says, ideas come from everywhere. Um, I was surprised to find out that um, they, you know, like how the mass heads when you go to Google.com, how every time the text, I mean, the, um, the art is different. Um, that's uh, because they take them all from public. They never, don't take them from employees, they take them from public. So they take a lot of ideas from the public as well. They allow the public to be involved, which brings a lot of new people in. Um, and then um, if you get the, company, the uh, people involved in the company, that make, makes you, uh, makes you, brings you more uh, ideas, it makes you more innovative. Um, so it helps you in every kind of way. They, they were talking about actually a 12 year old girl actually draw, drew once and then they used her drawing as the mass head for them. And then another one they have, don't kill projects, more of them. Um, pretty much they said that if it's a bad idea or something like that, don't just throw it out, you know, keep it and see how you can transition it and try to work with it in different parts of the area because it could be a, some kind of help to the company. Now these are only a few of them that they had. Um, I have more in the, in the report here that you can take a look at. Um, but now we're gonna go more in depth as to um, about for Enter and the website and what it means. And Yatan's gonna be talking about that a little bit more. Yes, um, I would just like to say uh, thank you for giving us the opportunity to come out here and share our work. And um, as a student, uh, we were given the opportunity to be involved in this uh, beta test and thanks to Felix Pereiro um, so what, you know, the word has been on the street known, what is Enter? Everybody's wondering what Enter is. I'm going to explain what Enter is to you guys. Uh, this Enter makes you more productive, and it also improves um, the ability to think outside the box, you know, to think different. And uh, it is a program that provides different tools, activities, um, to make you more um, innovative uh, individual. So why do we need Enter? Uh, as Vsar stated that many businesses are looking for um, these type of people that are very innovative, that think outside the box, uh, they're a little different. Um, and uh, we, as Enter, it provided you all these tools so to make you a better innovator or a, in, um, to make you think different. So this will uh, surely help you uh, land a job in the future. Um, and the more ideas that you have, uh, you know, the company would like you more. You'd want to work. They'd want you to work for them. So Enter will be uh, the solution to, making, uh, to make you more uh, innovative uh, individual. That's what we think what Enter is. And uh, we're going to go on to some of the improvements needed for Enter. What we found out that were some things that needed to be changed or um, improved upon. You want to keep going up? All right, uh, we, we think that we should improve in media options, tools, and, and uh, exercises. We think that even in the uh, first one, the tools are uh, not, not the best. Of we, we, as young uh, students, we go through many different websites, different programs. We see what the tools are. And we just thought that Enter needs to improve on those because they're not as professional and they're not as uh, user-friendly. Uh, for example, the eraser in, in one of the exercises or activities, excuse me, or um, just or the brush or anything like that, or even the background. It's you know we it'd be nice to have a white background instead of a black. Everybody wants to paint over a white one and not paint. I mean, yeah, and not paint the black one white. It just you know it, more time. It saves you more time if you just had a uh, white instead. And uh, we also think that. Uh, they should make the content more mature. It's uh, for you know young professionals out here and students. We think that it should relate something to us, and it shouldn't be. Um, it's more. It seems like it's more for high school students. It's it's you know even high school and middle school. It's not something that would relate to us. One of the things we also thought is that you should be able to track your progress on Enter. After going through the activities, you should be able to see what activities you've completed, if they were actually submitted and the company got them. Or you also should be able to track your friend's progress. If they complete something, that way you'll be able to communicate with them, ask them questions on how they felt about the activities. And also, there's no 
reason really to come back to the website once you've completed all of the activities. So we're thinking that by having the ability to track your friend's progress, it can alert you once that happens, and that way you can come back and discuss with them how they feel about innovating and innovation. That way you're kind of working together to make the website more innovative. When I first uh, got a chance to go on the website, um, I really didn't know what to do or what I was doing. Uh, so we think that the, there's too much in the website. We think that this should be changed. All I see is a lot of reading. And usually if you're in the internet, as I learned, that it's, you want to do everything quick, everything right away. And this doesn't do that. This, the things that you want to do, they're really not in your, uh, you know, where they're supposed to be. For the groups, which we think that it's very important to have right on top, because that's what we've been doing so far, and we just want to click and go. You know, um, we are interested in the content. It's just that you know today everybody's improving their websites, and you want to make it the best. You want to have the audience do what you want them to do. So we, if you scroll down, you have the groups all the way in the bottom, which you have a video first, and I like the video, and that's what I you know most. Most of the time, I think all of us that we, we went through this website, we, our attention was grabbed into this uh, video. We went right into the video and watched it. We were not sure what was going on. So uh, these groups, we believe, should be all the way in top where you, know, you go into me and start up. And um, it just there's too much information, too, too much content, as I said. And sort of this, we believe it should be organized um, <laughs> More maybe with uh, icons or pictures or s some sort of uh, attention getter, even for GRCC assignments. You know, uh, I did get that, but then you sort of l you know get lost and you you go to different places, you see m different things, so you're not really focused in what you want to be. And the another thing is that um, even though like uh, you have the for example the notes over there, and then you have ads by Google here, and they actually look exactly the same. You really cannot differentiate them. Besides, it says ads by, ads by Google, and it says notes. Um, as as we learned actually in Felix class, one of the Felix classes, e-commerce, um, that people usually like to rest. The eyes like to rest, and there's not much space to rest your eyes in here. There's a lot, a lot of text, but not a lot of space. You need to be have things more broad. And another thing that we found that um, it would be probably better is when you go to my page. You know, you can personalize as to how you want it to look, but when you go back to the main page, that changes. Um, there's, there's ways where you can keep it the same because now it's like going to a totally different website. I, I, I go to, like I said, the, the, the page and you go back again, it's like totally two different things. So you don't even know if you're sure if you're in the right place. And uh, the last thing that we decided, uh, thought that would be a good idea is um, add a chat option for people, um, while the people who are currently online or maybe friends that you have that you added. Uh, Facebook really has this a, a good option they, they, they put up, which I'm gonna go into here real quick. Uh, can you put your password real quick? And they have a chat option where you can actually chat with people who are currently online. Now, um, this will allow people who are doing the projects, who are doing the whole programs, for them to like talk to each other if there's a problem, or saying like, hey, uh, I, did you figure out this one, or did you do it? How, what did you think of it? Um, for example, you can just click on a person, and then click on a person, and then uh, you can, it opens up in here, and you can talk to them if you want to. And then you can just you can just chat back and forth. You can close it. So pretty much, um, that's uh, our presentation. <laughs>